All right, here we go. Dwarf Fortress for the first time ever. And I want to tell you, I am a total newbie at this. I have not played the game. I have not watched someone play it. I've played a lot of games inspired by Dwarf Fortress, you know, Oxygen Not Included, RimWorld, you know, those sorts of games which are inspired by Dwarf Fortress. But Dwarf Fortress just got graphics. And you can see in the lower left corner that it started in 2002 and it has now released onto Steam right at the end of 2022, I think it was. And there are graphics now. And we can swap between them to see what happens. If I go into settings, I can switch to the original graphics. But you know, I'm here as a newbie and I'm going to go through the default experience to figure out if I can learn this game. And it's not so much learn and master the game, it's whether I can get this game to the point where I know where I'm losing. That's what's important here. How long does it take for a total newbie to get Dwarf Fortress? Let's create a new world. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper, the more citizens take up residence in your outpost. Your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise, and you might one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. Let's say I just leave everything as default. History length, 100 years, number of civilizations, medium, maximum number of sites, medium, number of beasts, medium, natural savagery, medium, mineral occurrence everywhere. Oh. I have to pick a size, I think. There's no default. Pocket, smaller, small. Oh, wait, no, I have to press OK there. Oh, there's more options. <laughs> this is my first, this, I've never seen this before, okay? The, the pop-up perfectly blocked rows. Okay, fine. Um, pocket map size medium. Okay, that's the one I was missing, okay. Create world. See, that's just proof I've never done this before, okay? I am a total newbie here. Completely. So, problems with me understanding the UI? Also, that's that's the first time <laughs> experience. Okay, we're loading in. We're creating a new world. Okay, creating Zestlosgo, the enchanted universes. Three rejected. You can tolerate me being a noob, but promise me one thing, death to elves. I don't even know where elves would be. I don't even know where I will be. <laughs> so, let's see if first, not death to us. I think that's the important first step. They could be anywhere. Always stay on your toes. <laughs> They'll let you know. Okay, cool. Thousands of events have happened. The socketed confederations constructed ultra ships. The subtle flute of the absolute Dale founded sling pathers. The human question. Teach organs became the lawgivers. The human isles of blush standards became the lawgivers of the nation of buttering. The human gospel grow lactions became the lawgiver of the nations of empires. The nation of empires defeated the hateful dips. <laughs> the human palace clash seals constructed Mar Skinny. <laughs> okay, okay. These are just the big ones as well. There's been 37,000 events. The mythical councils of the socketed confederations founded Ravengirder. I assume the colors of text mean things. Like blue, dark blue text is a character. Orange text is locations. Pink text are more specific locations or more specific things. Elements of the elf was created in power stolen. Oh no, so pink things are things. Orange things are locations. Dark blue things are characters. And light blue things are factions. Okay. I got it. See, as a newbie, I managed to figure out what the color of the text means. Good. 
I understand. Our world has been created. The age of myth, year 100. Historical figures, 13,459. An abridged chronicle of 64,043 events. In the world of Zest Suslozgo, the enchanted universes. Here we are. This is our world. To recenter, press WASD or hold and drag the middle mouse button. Okay, so we can look at our world. Okay. This is a medium sized world, as was the default option. Um, if I mouse over it, it tells me all of these things. The, po uh, the polished tundra on the big continent, the cracked murk, the top step. So the big continent is just what our continent is called. So there's forests, there's withered forests, the spines of glimmering, the land of prisons. Oh, this is not the big... Is this an island? Oh, it is an island. This is not part of the, the big continent. So there's the big continent and the land of prisons. Okay, we probably don't want to be in the land of prisons. That sounds bad. The hills of wandering, temperate savannah, surroundings haunted. Okay, so there's, there's just a lot of stuff. The enjoyable horns. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. The glorious wall of speakers. Okay, so I think I just press play now. Let's see what the game tells me. And if I can figure out what I'm supposed to do. Let's see what happens. Okay, select the game type to begin. I assume I should pick the top one. Because this game is called Dwarf Fortress. Passing a few weeks to get things ready. So these are the months. Granite, slate, felsite. Hematite, malachite, galena. Limestone, sandstone, timber. Moonstone, opal, obsidian. Is timber the only non-rock? Wait, what's galena? Quick start and short tutorial. Yes, please. Would you like your fortress located in a forested, mineral-rich region of this world where you can play through a short tutorial? Non-interactive help will be available whatever you decide. I am going to press start tutorial. So it's placing me here. Oh, it, it really zooms in. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're down on the ground now. Teach me how to play. I am a total newbie. I already don't understand what half of this UI does. Okay, we've got like the main buttons in the bottom left. I think bottom center is Actions, you know, mine, chop wood, harvest, blocker stone, eraser. <laughs> oh, that's an old school eraser. <laughs> okay. Top of the UI is created wealth. I don't really know what this is. I assume this is population and their happiness. Stocks of food, drink, seeds, meat, fish, plant, other. Okay, and that's the date. Okay. Mini map up here, map controls. Okay. So tooltips are, well, this shows the terrain. Okay, there are, there are tooltips. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Good. A dwarven outpost. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Tastrodaduk. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure, delve secure lodgings. Okay, I forget, they, they live underground, so you delve secure lodgings. Ere the giant jaguars get hungry, a new chapter of dwarven history begins here, at this place, Sarek, Sarek Mural, Echo Page, Strike the Earth. Okay. Camera controls, one of eight. Your view is focused on one elevation at a time. To move the camera around, press Waz or hold the middle mouse button. Holding the middle mouse button, okay. Holding the middle mouse button is a little laggy, so I think 
But Waz jumps quite a bit. I think these are our, there are settings in the option to control the distances and stuff, but I'll leave it as is for now. Move the camera. So change the camera's elevation, E and C, or roll the mouse wheel. Oh, even the trees have s that many elevations. The trees go up to elevation 53. What's this over here? Can I? Oh, that's a, a mountain. Okay, so the highest point is elevation 54 on this particular map. So the trees go up to 53 and they go down to the ground level, which is 44. So the trees are about nine high. And then we can go down, which I assume goes down to one or zero. This is a programmer game, right? So elevation zero should be the last one. Oh, there's negative. Okay, fine. <laughs> how 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 deep can we go? Minus two five six. How programmer is this? What's the deepest? One two nine. Okay, odd number. So it's one two nine. Oh, so what's the highest? The highest on the on our map is fifty three. But what's the highest? Holding shift does it 10 a time. Oh, okay, thank you. 69! <laughs> so it's 69 to 129, which is... 100 and... 198. Okay, so surface is 44. Okay, so I can see... Oh, so yeah, the rivers have one elevation level of the water depth. Okay, so just one down into the ground and you can still get all this water coming in. Okay, understood. Okay, good, good, good. I actually really like the graphics, by the way. It's like surprisingly clear what's what. Okay, the view will be dark on the ground until you begin mining. Yes, F1 to center on the wagon. Next. Odd that I pressed next and it still says camera controls one of eight, which means I don't know how many camera control windows we're gonna have. <laughs> we went from camera controls one of eight to camera controls 1.1 of eight, basically. You can zoom in and out of the play area using... Zoom in and out of the play area. Oh, without changing levels. Okay, okay, understood. With control. Okay. Mining, two of eight. Oh, okay, the numbers are topics. So we don't know how many pages of mining we're gonna get here. It's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a stairwell into the ground. There may be plenty of hillside to dig into, but you'll want to seek wealth below the surface. Mining tasks are designated on the play area. So this, this is called the play area. Begin by clicking the highlighted mining button. Oh, that's a cool highlight effect. I like that. Hotkey M. So I should try learn the hotkeys, right? M. Stair mining. Okay. There are several ways to mine. Stairwells selected. Okay, that. Dig a stairwell. Uh, start at one elevation and are completed at the next. Click the surface, move the camera down one level, and click the underground. Reversing the order also works. So you want to start a stairway, go down a level. How short can a stairway be? Can it just be two steps, or is that too steep? Let's do five steps first. Oh, does it just have to be one tile? That's not right. That that looks wrong. The graphics have told me that that is incorrect. It won't let me click the eraser button. <laughs> it didn't... It, it drew a line like it was many steps down, but no, no. Like, why would you ever do that? Okay, but fine. We've got five ways down now. Okay. Mining. Uh, now we'll unpause the game and let the miner finish the task. Press space to unpause or use the highlighted controls at the top of the screen. You should pause regularly starting out. Unpause. Okay, 
Now with the can I can I can I erase those or are they already built? Oh well, let just just build them I guess. <laughs> sure, <laughs> they build them quick though. Okay, I should pause. It said pause the game regularly. Let's make a safe place to work. Select a regular mining mode to the left of stairs. Okay, so you can do M, M, right? Or you can do M, T. Right, M, M is normal. Room completed zero out of 20. Okay, dig a rectangle underground for a large stockpile and some workshops. Consider that most workshops are three by three squares. Mining through the stone layers further down may take longer, but it leaves boulders, which are essential building material. Mining through the stone layers further down may take longer, leaves boulders, which are essential to mining materials. Okay. Later, you can consider making a meeting area from the zones menu. Otherwise, your citizens will continue to gather by the wagon outside. Okay, so I want to go down and make a 10 by 10 room. Should it be around the stairs? Like, that should be more than enough. Let's do that. And then we unpause. And then the dwarves come and mine out the room. Okay, I see why the middle mouse button is good for fine controls. Okay, Nebers, thank you so much. I'm I'm learning from completely zero. Yeah, cell phone, you can erase them with the eraser. I tried to erase them with the eraser but it didn't seem to work. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the eraser. I clicked on the eraser and then I tried clicking on the stairs and it wouldn't erase. So I still got to learn how to erase things. I'm hoping the tutorial tells me how to erase things. So these water icons here, I assume if we dig there, it will flood out. And I assume the surface pond would fill into the underground area. In the tutorial, it's blocked. Okay. Um... We have dug a room. That's my first room in Dwarf Fortress. They will stop automatically before they dig through. Oh, okay. So if I if I draw a dig area over this, they will not dig into the water areas. Unless I assume I, I force it, right? Um Okay. Stockpiles. The supplies on the wagon are in danger of being carried off by wild creatures. It's time to build a stockpile underground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around the fortress where they are needed. Stockpiles are placed with the stockpile button here. Okay, that's a stockpile button? Hotkey P. Place all stockpile. Click the add button. Is this the... I mean, it's got a plus, so that should be an add button. Okay. There's more options. Okay. Click the add button and click two corners of a rectangle somewhere safe to place... I should pause the game. Uh, place on the surface and under... Wait. Add two corners of a rectangle somewhere safe to place your pile. Stockpiles can be placed on both the surface and underground. Once a pile is placed, click accept and select all options. So if I do this and that. Oh, up here. It, it wasn't highlighting the top left corner. I'm like, what? Except this one. Click in the play area to paint the stockpile. Except. And then all. Right? Okay. If the stockpile menu is still open, you can close it now by right clicking. Uh, Right-clicking can always be used to close most menus. That is a very weird way to say it. <laughs> you can always do this to do some of the things. <laughs> you can always close menus sometimes. Not all menus, but you can always do it. When it when it's allowed, you know. But always, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> 
with shelter ready underground. It's time to build. First, you need building materials like wood or boulders. Before you start chopping down trees, you may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Haulers will also drop wood in your all stockpile unless you turn it off in the custom stockpile menu. When you are ready, open the wood cutting. Okay, hold on. This stockpile. How do I turn off wood? So here's wood. So if I just click, it sets it to that. Repaint, remove stockpile, toggle, set from which workshops, set how many barrels. Right click? No, that doesn't work. How do I custom? Custom. Okay, so this can be all except for wood. None of the wood. Okay, it's very red. Um, right click. Okay, so it's custom. This is now all except wood. And now I want to draw another stockpile, like maybe smaller, just like that, I guess, and accept, and this will be for wood. So that's the all stockpile, this is the wood stockpile. Organization. Now, we want to chop trees, and I assume we want to go up here, and we want to designate a tree. That one. Oh, okay. Can I do that? Designate two trees. Okay. Wood cutting. Now we just need to wait for the woodcutter to chop down the tree. If the fallen logs are accessible, everyone will help store them in the stockpile. You can right click to close the wood cutting mode. What are these buttons, by the way? Left click for recenter and expand options. It has started raining. There is nothing to catch in the central swamps. I, I don't know what those are yet. And we'll get back to them. So we need to chop down the tree. Let's unpause the game. The game runs pretty fast on... Oh, there, are there no speed settings? There's just... Go and don't go. Okay, chopping down the tree. Okay, understood. That is being chopped. So if I... Go up. Yep, that tree is gone. They've chopped down some wood. A oh, one tree gives a lot of wood. Okay, pause the game. That's a lot more wood than I thought. So if I look here, it's storing wood. How do I see the quantity that has been stored here? Repaint. Oh, okay. No, no. That that that's to expand or shrink it, right? So actually, if I want to do that, I can, for example, expand the stockpile like that. So then there's more room for the wood, except. Now, how do I see, see how many barrels, bins, and weirs the stockpile can use? Okay, no, it's not that. Remove, set. I cannot figure out how much wood is in here. <laughs> Up top, there's a stocks option. Oh, this. So if I click on... I don't think it's allowing me to click on that yet. So if I click on a stockpile, I can't see what's in the stockpile? Oh, it is 100% one-to-one visual. But also, like, when I click on this, this is holding all. How do I tell what is that? That is a barrel of beige. This is a barrel of purple. What is beige and what is purple? Like, there's no way for me to see what it is. If I click custom, I mean, it shows what I can keep in here. Oh, I'm just scrolling through the world. I don't know if this is blocking something. I can't move it, I think. If you right click and or hover over the icon. Oh, th I think the tutorial is blocking the tooltip up here. Right. Okay, the tutorial is stopping me. Okay. It's odd that the tutorial blocks the tooltip. Why isn't this tutorial just like 30 pixels lower? <laughs> <laughs> Press the up arrow. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. That is strange. Okay, so now I can see 
This is a dwarven rum barrel made of cherry wood. Is it filled with rum? No, it's... F no. Tea wood splints. Is it tea wood or cherry wood? Is it a barrel filled with wood? <laughs> Hold on, let me check the other one. This is tea wood splints, dwarven ale barrel made of apple wood. There are two items on that tile. There's more than one things. Well, that... Okay, okay, hold on. So, the first thing here is tea wood splints. And then there is also a dwarven ale barrel with apple wood. Now, when it's called a dwarven ale barrel, I'm currently assuming that it is filled with ale. And that's why it's an ale barrel. Not that it is a barrel specifically made for ale, which may or may not be filled with ale. I'm assuming. <laughs> Let's bring the tutorial back. We have we have chopped down a tree. Okay. Building. Let's get to building. Very important in Draw Fortress. Gotta build. Now that you have building materials, it's time to start building. Workshops are one of the many buildings you can place with the highlighted build button. Click it now. We are opening building mode. Most workshops require building materials, such as wood or boulders. If you have some wood stockpiled, you'll be able to place a carpenter's workshop. Click Workshops Carpenter and place the shop in an empty area on the surface or underground. Workshops. Clothier, farmer, furnaces, ashries. Why are these blue? Where is Carpenter? And I can place the carpenter's workshop. I guess there, near the wood. Okay. Select materials for the carpenter's workshop. Oh, what to build it with. Okay. Understood. I thought it was like resources allowed to be used there. No, so that is... You can suspend and cancel. Okay. Oh, interesting. When that UI comes up, the tutorial shifts over. Okay. When unpause the worker should now build the workshop. Once the worker is done, click the building to select it. Okay. We are building a carpenter's workshop. We're using some of the wood. We're bringing down the rest of that tree. Okay. And we need to make a bed. Furniture created at the carpenter's workshop usually takes one wood to build. Add a task to make a bed. We should make seven beds, right? Add a new task. Make bed. So I can do this. How, how, is there a way to... What are these? Oh, now there's a tooltip in the top right. Well, that is halfway off the screen. Okay. Repeat indefinitely. Highest priority. See details. Is there a way to set... Make seven beds? Doesn't seem like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven beds. Out of pomegranate wood? Guess we'll find out. Make a bed. So, this guy will just make a bed. You know, I'm kind of liking the five stairs down now. <laughs> it just kind of feels right. Okay, we've made a bed. I think, I can't see it. Um, now that you have a bed, you can place it in the fortress. Use the build menu to place it in a room underground, just like the workshop. Dig a new room first if you like. Beds are found in the furniture category. Unlike workshops, beds must be placed underground. Okay, um, let's make, make a bedroom. Uh, let's go to mining. And I can mine out a path to here. And then I will make... I don't know how big beds are, but let's just make room for it. Okay, let's mine that out. Can I place beds before it's mined? So if I go to build, furniture, 
bed. Can I just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I just... No, I can't place it until it is mined. Okay. No problem. Mining's pretty quick. Okay, if I pause here, can I go... Oh, okay. Um, select materials for the bed. Isn't the bed already made? Or do we have... We have a bitter orange wood bed and a bitter orange wood bed. One has dashes, one has asterisks. They're different colors, I guess. I don't know what determined the color. So I currently have two beds. Okay, let, let's, let me wait until more beds are. So we're going to build a bed there. How do I tell? Is that a bed made? Let's go back to build. Let's go to furniture. Let's go to bed. And if I shift click... So if I don't care, I can just click that. Okay, so I have to place it one at a time. So if I try to place a bed now, I should not have a bed, right? Needs bed. Make it workshop first. No access to bed. Okay. Okay. Oh, minus and asterisk are the quality? Oh. So there's a, a chance mechanic. Oh, I have to get rid of that first. Okay. That's fine. Now that you have a bed, you can place it in the fortress. Use the build menu. Aha, uh -huh. place a bed. With a bed placed, your workers will have somewhere to sleep. Later, you can create a room with a door and use the zones menu to assign an official bedroom for each resident. Okay. So, individual bedrooms are good. Okay. The rest of the interface is now enabled. You can click on creatures and items, just as you can click on buildings, to get more information about them. Click on a resident to see their needs, inventory, thoughts, relations, and more. You can also access information from the citizens button. I don't know where all these buttons are. Justice, objects, nobles, work orders, labor, Information, task, citizens. Oh, okay, they are. So we can click on creatures, click on buildings, click on items, click on a citizen or creature. Lorbum Riroslan, minor. Lorbum ear wound. Feel free to pause and check out the information. Right click to dismiss the information sheet. Okay, so this is a character. Overview, items, health, okay, items, okay, every single item is here, even left and right glove, okay, health, status, wounds, treatment, history, descriptions, incredibly tough, rarely sick and agile, but he's very slow to heal, okay, so stats, like special abilities or properties are described, skills, minor, rooms, no study, no quarters, no dining room, no tomb, Okay, labor, set to mining. Personality, good kinesthetic sense, but he has a shortage of patience, very bad sense of empathy, little natural inclination towards music and poor creativity. Thoughts, feel satisfied, military, groups, relations, friend, close friend, friend, close friend, friend, long-term acquaintance. Overview, 85 years old. Disdains power, disdains law, disdains fairness. Not creative, recovers slowly. Okay. Assume set to follow, change name. Send this creature to a linked site. Okay, so all characters are called creatures, right? Okay. <coughs> the rest of the interface is now enabled. Okay. Alerts. So that's what those are. Those are alerts. Important and sometimes urgent information is given as alerts on the left side of the screen. There have been several already. 
Hover over an alert icon to see the information. Left click on an alert for recentering options and right click to dismiss. So it has started raining. The weather has cleared. You can recenter on certain announcements. Right click to close. Okay. This is this is an example urgent alert. These are very important. Ignore them at your peril. Okay, so there's no recentering options for either of these. That's fine. What is this? You can recenter on certain announcements. Right click to close. There's nothing. Wait, is that? Oh, that's the recentering. There is nothing to catch in the central swamps. Right. And I can right click to dismiss. Okay. Oh, this this is an even more important alert. <laughs> so the exclamation mark is important. This alert is like very important. You can recenter into the answer. Aha, uh -huh, this is an urgent alert. These are very important. Okay. Right click. Okay. Preparing for the caravan, which is going to appear before winter. You may need supplies before the coming of winter. To trade with the Autumn Caravan, you must build a trade depot from the build menu. You need something of value to trade. Crafts are an easy way to make a lot of trade goods quickly. Make the appropriate workshop with workshop's craft. An obvious material to use to make crafts is rock. If you dig down enough layers, you'll find a near infinite amount of boulders of various kinds, as well as some rough gems if you're lucky. Gems can be cut at a jeweler's workshop, encrust them on crafts and other items to add even more value. Okay, just the beginning. There's a lot more to learn, I can tell. As you enter new menus, there will be information and tips. The help button at the top of the screen contains more guides. Click it now and this tutorial will be concluded. Okay, so this is all the stuff. The game is open-ended and you can do whatever you choose. If you'd like a goal, try to become a barony, then a mountain home. More likely your dwarves will starve unless you read the first few guides here. And remember, losing is fun! Okay, so interactive tutorial is completed. So I'm supposed to read survival at least. Okay, let's just quickly go through this. We need shelter, drink, food, uh-huh. By now you should have room on the ground, yep. Uh, to make sure they spend their free time down there, you'll need to use zones to create a meeting area. Okay, so we need to set a meeting area. We need to assign labor. Uh, build workshops farming still to get drink. Um, try planting or gathering. The task also requires barrel from the carpenter's workshop. Uh, if you survive... Okay, I think I gotta get back to that. I'll leave that there, though. That seems important. So, zoning. Is it burrows? Like, if I set that... I feel like burrows might not be correct. Zone is the one with it. Ah, zones. So, dormitory should include multiple beds, will not belong to a... Okay, so this is a dormitory. Except... Okay, what else do we have? Dining hall, pen, pasture, office, dormitory, barracks. Archery range, garbage dump, animal chain, tomb, gather fruit, fishing, sand, clay. Okay, so I want to build a meeting area. So it should be... Let's just have a nice big opening into a nice big meeting area. Like that. Right? And can I zone it now? Meeting area. I don't know if that worked. Let's unpause. Okay, so we'll set a meeting area. We've set the dormitory. This is just a general storage area right now. I feel like I need more storage, so let's go to stockpiles. Uh-huh. 
Let's just make another bit of stockpile here. Misclicked. Uh, add stockpile. This. That. That. Accept. All. No. Custom. All except for wood. Good. So that's just more room for more stuff because I don't know if this... Is this all the stuff that's still in the... Why do we have so much stuff? Okay. <laughs> um, is that a creature? Lungfish remains. These strawberry plants. So if I go to... Gathering fruits and leaves. Set plant gathering orders. Do they just... I'm supposed to draw? I guess. Gather all of this stuff. Immediately around us. That's some food and stuff. That'll be good. How do we gather that? <laughs> That dead fish. Oh well, whatever. Um, okay, so I have to see. Okay, there's a platinum nugget, which seems good to have. Um, I want to go and set this as the meeting area, because I don't think it has been. That's the meeting area, except. Now, I probably want to check under uh, workshops. Clothia Farming. A wide variety of food and drink related workshops can be found in this. This is a sub menu? Okay. I assume we farm on the surface? Wait, no, those are mushrooms. Plant crops at the farm pub. You'll need seeds or spawn and must select crops by season. Crops can be fertilized with potash soil. Uh, soil is richer, deeper underground. Okay, so the further down we go, the better. Um, so, we probably also want to continue our way down. So from here, I think I will mine. Staircase. Uh, a nice central staircase there to here. Alright, so we'll go down one more level. Uh, under this, what else can we build? Display case. Make enormous corkscrew. And barrel, bucket, cabinet, cage, floodgate, hatch cover, uh, shield, uh, training axe, step ladder, wheel barrel. Okay, so these are tools and some furniture. Okay. I also should check out labor menu so this is miners woodcutters oh so this so no one specifically set for hunting planters fisher dwarves so this is what they're skilled at plant gatherers so if no one's assigned to it oh it's set to everybody does this i see only selected can do this nobody does this so everybody does it except for some things like only you are mining only you are wood cutting and only you are fishing because those are the skills that we started with okay the meeting area has filled with animals including a worm <laughs> okay truly a universal meeting area am i enjoying this game i feel like i've barely started i feel like i've opened the cover of a book and I'm on the forward. <laughs> so it's hard to tell. <laughs> Am I into this type of game? Well, I liked Oxygen Not Included and RimWorld, which are both inspired by this game. So, yeah. So there's this Platinum Nugget. This is a Platinum Nugget. Ore of Platinum, making furniture, building. So if I wanted to collect that Nugget, what do I do? Because this is plant gathering. It doesn't really apply to that. 
Is it just because we don't have any stockpile? Oh, I see this um, coconut palm roots. Oh, the roots. Then this is a coconut palm right here. Ah, so the roots of the trees actually go down into the ground. Okay, so what I can do, I just need more storage. Um, stockpile. Stockpile. Let's just make this also a stockpile. Custom. Just not... Uh, wait. All, but not wood. Okay. So then someone should... Oh, they, they will get the stuff out of the... Oh, we have a bed. All right, I haven't placed all the other beds I built. Um, build. Furniture. Bed. That one. It doesn't matter. Build. Furniture. Bed. That one. Oh, we haven't... Wait, why is there a fish in this workshop? Didn't I make seven beds? We have so much stuff. Oh, so once it's there, I already have the nugget. Also, I've now dug down to here, so I should just dig out an area. Okay. Wow, there's... we have so much stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, so... Um, hmm. And I assume the caravan is still... Is this still filled with things? Pigtail thread. Giant peregrine falcon leather. Can you make leather out of bird skin? I suppose you could. It's just no one ever does. I don't know why this lungfish remains is here in the carpenter's workshop. But I feel like we need even more storage. So let's just expand this to storage. Yeah, so we're... We can't see anything down here. So, how? what's the best way to mine, to explore down here? Like, are we looking for any specific icons or graphics, or do we just strip mine the whole layer? All right, ostrich skin is used to make leather. It's a bit weird to make leather out of a falcon. It seems like there's not a lot of skin to work with. We've got like two cats. That's cool. Um, so like, I just want to see, is that anything or is that just a graphic? Ugh. There, there, to there. Just want to see what that is. Okay, so th no, this needs to be, no, the stockpile. How do I select the stockpile? View stockpile. Um, repaint the stockpile. To include that. Accept. Okay, so that should be definitely enough space. What is going on there? Why are there bees? A swarm of acorn flies. I don't know if that's... I assume it's they're eating our food or something. I don't know. Okay, this looks like a lot. Giant peregrine falcon leather quiver. I guess it is giant, so that, that makes it worth it, right? There's a lot of flies down here. Okay, so how come I didn't make seven beds? Is it because... Hold on. Furniture. Bed. Oh, I do have... Oh, it's, they were made, but they were just in his inventory, so it couldn't be used. So I have to wait for it to be in the stockpile before I can place it as furniture. I think that's my understanding. Build. Furniture. Bed. Okay. So there's seven beds for seven dwarves. 
No door on the stairs so the flies can get inside. Door on the stairs. I don't know how to place doors on stairs. Okay, so that graphic is pretty much nothing. So I guess we just keep going down? You can't... You can, can you place stairs? What happens if you do that? Can you place stairs on stairs? Ooh, you can! Very good. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> All right. So that allows us to just do that. And then can I just do this? And then can I do this? I want to see if this works. Did I do that right? I think I did that right. Is this correct? Okay, I think I maybe missed that one. Okay, so now I can just dig straight down. Rough hewn shale wall. Okay, so you can just dig straight down like that. <laughs> so there is sleeping. This is the time of day, right? So it is night? Okay. I assume there's no graphical day-night cycle here. Oh, I just noticed the scroll bar on the right. Oh, I see. So it shows... roughly. Okay. I wonder if there's any point going up into the sky. All right, all right. So I need to figure out survival, right? We need food, drink, right? If I don't figure that out, we're just gonna die. So we need to brew alcohol, right? Uh, so we need to build a still. And that is from plants or fruits. Uh, also requires a barrel from the carpenter's workshop. I don't know if they drink the ale out of a barrel. Do we keep the barrel? Uh, if you survive until the caravan comes, you may also trade for drink and plants. Okay. Absent alcohol in and in warmer weather, you can designate a water source from the zones menu at the river or pond so that your residents always have water to drink. Oh, designate a water source. So for example, this pond here, I could... Which one was it? Water source, there. So if I wanna designate this as a water source. Accept. So now we can designate that as a water source. The ca uh, our cart seems empty. Good. Our storage is not full. Good. Um, can I change, repaint this zone? How do I minus, uh, remove zone? Oh, I just removed the whole zone. Okay, no, I want to paint this as a dormitory. Just like that. Okay, except because that's now storage. That's the dormitory. That's the meeting room. Okay, let's not flood our thing. So we can... That looks like stuff. Rough hewn rose quartz cluster. So let's say I just mine out the surrounding area of all the staircases. Just... So I can get a sense of what each level is like. Like maybe the rocks change or something. Okay. So I've got a water source. But also... Just as open space. What's this? You have struck rose quartz. You have struck cinnabar. Cinnabar? Oh, struck rose quartz, yes, okay. 
Okay, so I'm striking some things. I'm just trying to find where the... So under build... Build. Doors, hatchets, constructions. Oh, okay. So door on the staircase so flies can't get in. If I go to constructions... Okay, hold on. Let me look at doors. Door. Hatch. So hatches... Can hatches just go on stairs like that? But I need to make the hatch cover at a workshop first. Okay. 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 So if I look in the build menu, I can basically see everything I'm supposed to build. Right? If I wanted to build... Constructions. So wall is... If I wanted to build a wall around our little thing here, which seems important. Like, if I wanted to do... Like, if I just wanted to build a wall. Like, there. I can do it out of wood. Bitter orange wood logs. I, amount needed nine. Okay, so if I mix it like this, what happens? Does the wall look different or... Does it look... Oh, it actually looks different, I think. Why didn't they alternate it? They built all one type of wood there, all one type of wood there. Okay, fine. So I probably should mark a few more trees to chop down. Chop down all of those trees. So we need to get a whole bunch of wood. Um, in terms of doors, do I have to craft doors first? Spiked wooden ball. Wooden, wooden, uh, I can search. Make wooden door. Let's make two doors. Is cap lock on? No, it's just like that. So we're going to make two doors. Okay, yes, I think I'm understanding this correctly. Uh, now if I go back to construction, I go to constructions, I go to walls, and then I build a wall on this side, like this. Needs... okay, so we got... This is distance to the resource, I guess? I can make this all out of kumquat wood logs. Okay. <laughs> Good. So build that. Very nice. He's making the... What is this stuff? Shale. I'm storing shale from stuff I dug out from here. Rough hewn shale wall. We're just getting shale. Okay, fine. Um, what happened to our... Like, I'm trying to see where it's stored. Is that... That's the platinum nugget there. Okay, fine. So, now let's go to building. Doors and hatchets. Do I have my door? Needs adjacent wall first. Okay, um, build. Constructions. Wall. Here. There. Um. Ooh, I can use shale. Okay, do shale for there. So it's a bit of rock around the door. Okay, that'll look nice. Um, there must be a quicker way to do this. Wall. Shale. Like, is there a, a copy tile or... Construction. Wall. Yeah. Click, click, shale. I'm sure there's a fast way to do it, I just don't know what it is. Construction. Wall. Click, click, shale. Okay, we'll build the shale. Keep building after placement. Oh, that. Okay, that's what that means. Good to know. Why does it look like there? There's buckets here. What is what is that? 
Oh, it's showing the buckets on the ground. That's showing the ladder on the ground. I made a hole in the floor so you can see through the stockpile. That's a hole? Oh, these gray spots are holes to the lower level. Because I chopped down the tree there? Oh. So actually, we shouldn't have anything on this first level down. It's just... Can, can we fill it back up? Do we build a floor on top there? Uh, construction. Can I put a dirt road on top of the hole? Because they don't require materials. <laughs> Quickly overgrown by plants. Let's find out. Blocked at this location. Okay, no. <laughs> Fine. Uh, let's build construction floor. Keep building after placement. Use closest material. And that means I can just go... Bop. No. There. There. So those are the ones I can see. But basically, how do I tell which ones... Like, basically, all of these need to be covered. I mean, first thing, I'm just trying to get... Right, these aren't all... Those are shale pebbles. Floor shale. Okay, wait, no, okay. So it's not that. How do I... Let's go to... Remove mining chopping. Right? No, how do I cancel the construction order? It's not the eraser. Set wall smoothing, engraving, track carving, fortification orders. I don't know what that is. Um, items for dumping, high, low traffic areas. Digging menu. Do I just remove it? Yes. Okay. Wait. So first I have to check which ones are actually holes. Because the holes and the... Um, so, okay. Lesson learned. Don't chop trees over our base. So I know those are holes because I can see the resources. So that's shale. That's shale. Which other trees did I cut down? That was a tree. Open space. That's what I'm looking for. Right? Open space. Shale, shale, shale. Like, I feel like the open space and shale should look different. Shale, 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 shale pebbles. Thing is... No, that's a silty cavern floor. So all this... I, th I think that's all the... The holes I made. One, two, three, four. I think I only chopped down four trees. Okay. Oh, and look at that stone frame. Okay, so that'll patch the holes. And then I want to go to constructions. Wait, doors and hatches. Door. And I will select the material. A door there. Sure, come quad doors. And door there, like that. And then, are there roofs? <laughs> right, I would have to build a floor up here. Why is there wood on top of my wall? Um, so I need to construction. Yeah, construction. Floor. I don't know if they need to get up there, but let's do that. No access to 45 building materials, non-economic items. Do I need a staircase to get up there? 
A ramp. Uh, okay. Const is it in the construction? I saw ramps just now. Ramp. You can build a ramp next to a wall to provide access to the floor above. The space above the ramp must also be empty. Requires boulders, blocks of wood. So, I need a hatch to cover the ramp to fully enclose it, right? Let's do a ramp there. Use that. Okay, so build a ramp there. That's what it looks like? Is that a ramp? Okay, so now I want to build constructions floor. Oh, ramp outside, then remove. That makes so much more sense. Okay, hold on. Um, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hold on. I think... Can I... I can't dig a stair up, can I? No. Okay, so ramps are required to build out here. Um, construction. Stairs. So I can build stairs up like that. Out of wood. Okay. Uh, that's much a much better idea. Build the stairs outside, build the floor, and then remove the stairs. Okay, so those stairs are built. So there should now be access to here. Also, is that the graphic for a ramp? Or maybe the ramp's just not tall enough to get to the top of the wall? Okay, so now we want to build constructions, floor, cover this whole area like that. No, it still says no access to 45 building materials. Non Do we just not have enough wood chopped down? Okay, so let's go and chop down some trees, but away from our base, like that one and that one. Right? There's probably not much point, like, strip mining this first layer, right? You'll want to do things down here. Shale. So most of the, the boulders are shale. What's tetrahedrite walls? So these are things with, we should be mining? Are those indications of claro opal clusters? Oh, okay. Those are things that we should mine, right? Refuge shale wall, lignite wall. Cinnabar wall. Right, then we get stuff out of that. Okay, so it takes a couple layers down. A storage is just filled with stuff. Um, have we managed to chop down those trees? Yes. So if I maybe now build constructions, floor. Okay. Um, we need 45. Let's stick to guava wood and then a mix of other woods. Okay, and that will build a floor up on this level, which is the ceiling, which is the entrance of our thing. And that should at least keep the flies out, if I understand that correctly. There's also just boulders up here. I, sh I could like break those and get more stone, right? Tree chopping order. So if I wanted to harvest that boulder. And I don't know what this is. Smooth, rough floors and walls. Okay, that looks good. Um, How do I, how do I, how do I eat this rock? How do I get this boulder? <laughs> um, is it a digging order? Dig ramp up, dig a channel. I 
Like, I don't just do that, do I? No. They'll smoothen the rough cut dwarven tunnel walls. Why would I want to do that? Smooth it? Okay, smoothing works. Because it's nice. Oh, okay. Aesthetically. As in, it will like make it visually like not so rough on the edge. Engrave artwork into a smooth wall. Like, it says engrave artwork. But how do we see the artwork? Because we're looking at it from top down. <laughs> how do we see the artwork? That's, that's what I'm... Is this done? Floor. Bitter orange. Why do these two... Why are... Th Tooltip. Engrave artwork into a smooth wall. Oh, it just says on the description that there's nice art there. <laughs> so, why do these two tiles say floor and the rest don't? Because that looks a bit see-through. Oh, I'll actually tell you what the art is. Nice. The top of the walls are floors, but you have a floor about to be built there. Oh, that's not built yet. I see. Also, I should floor the inside as well, right? Uh, construction, floor. No, I don't want to... I don't want to accidentally floor over... Let's use shale. If I floor over the staircase, construction, floor, will that cause problems? You can floor over the stairs and it will block it. Okay. I don't know why these two aren't being built. Well, there's still flies down there. Oh, we've got rough claro opals. Oh, is that my is that my first season? Oh, you can remove the floor again. So the staircase is still there, but if you can floor, you can floor over it. <laughs> okay. What happens if you build a floor and then stare through it? Is that different or is it the same thing? Mind this stuff. Mind that stuff. Yeah, mind that stuff. Mind that. Mind that stuff. Mind that stuff. Mind that stuff. Silt cavern floor. Shale cavern floor. I assume if we're farming, we should... Farm on the silt cavern floor, not the shale. Now why isn't this... Construction suspended. Why? Resume. Resume. Why is it suspended? There, it's done. Okay. So now I want to destroy this staircase. So to destroy things, I need to do this. Yes. Because, like, there's this grass around these staircases. I don't know how to get rid of the grass. But okay. We are now covered. We filled the holes. There's still flies down here. I don't know how to get rid of them, but... We should at least be... Oh, the cats go outside! 
<laughs> That's interesting. Okay, good, good. Oh, build the stairs out of shale or metal. I see. Okay, okay. Rather than just dig down like that. Can I salvage this wagon? This is sand pear wood. Okay. Iron anvil. Okay, our stockpiles are full again. But okay, I should now figure out how to brew alcohol, right? So that's building a still. Workshops farming still. So we need to do farming. Uh, workshops. So there's farming. Okay. Farm plot still. Butcher, tanner, fishery, kitchen, farmer. Quern, mixed sugar flour. Okay. Vermin catcher, nest box, hive. Okay. I just dismissed the... <laughs> I wanted to right-click out of the menu, but I didn't realize right-clicking would just dismiss those even with the menu open. <laughs> okay, that's one of those things. So, I'm just going to try this. And let's say this is a farm plot. What materials do you use? Blocked at this location, no mud soil for farm. Mud is left by water. Okay. Cancel construction. So it's said the deeper down I go, the better it is. Maybe I farm on the surface. Is that fine? Um, construction. Workshops, farming, farm plot. If I just like farm here, is that okay? No mud for soil farm. Mud, mud is left by water. Okay, no. So that's not right either. It was the stairs blocking, but I wasn't building next to the stairs. I messed it up by reading too much? Wait, hold on. Workshops. Farming. Farm plot. Okay. Soil is richer deeper underground. So if I do this. And click. Building present. Like... The staircase? Like, you can't get that close to the staircase? Uh, workshops. Farming. Farm plot. Wait. So I placed it correctly. So that is... That can be built. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a weird UI quirk. Okay, we have made the farm plot. Okay. Leave fallow. So not set to fertilize. So this is underground stuff. Cave wheat. But I assume we don't so it's summer now. So different seasons have different crops. Okay. Porous soil. Cavern soil is best. What is cavern soil? I just want to try grow something. So I would need seeds if I wanted to grow stuff, right? If I okay, so let's try make a farm up here as well. Um, let's go to workshops, farming, farm plot, and because there's like berries and stuff up here as well. If I just do a little plot like that, that is now placed. Um, how do I see... Oh, stocks, right. Are there seeds? Are these things I have? 
Here you can see every item in the fortress. Click on category, headings, collapse, and expand them. If you don't have a bookkeeper or they don't have an office to work in, numbers may be approximate. Oh. The records are actually just a little bit of a guess until they're actually written down. Okay. So these are the seeds I have. Sweet pod seeds, cave wheat seeds, pigtail seeds. So it says I have five cave wheat seeds. So if I go down to my farm plot here, I should be able to do cave wheat, right? Now wait. So there should be different crops on the surface. Alfalfa, Bambara, groundnut, barley, bitter melon, blade weed, blood amaranth. Oh, so it actually just says no seeds there. So I click on this. So it says I do. So I have seeds for all of these. So I can do. Oh, but you can only have one crop per field. I see. So I should want to crop everything, right? Uh, construction, workshop, farming, farm plot. I should just do that. No, no, cancel construction. Um, workshop, farm, farm plot. So I can do that, and I can do that. So that would be three separate things. And then I can set you to like, dimple cups, you to pigtails, because I don't know what's good. And you to sweet pods. And we actually should have one more for uh, workshop. You can set all seasons for each farm plot. And this is quarry bushes. Um, oh, each season is a different. Okay, so... Is crop rotation a thing? Is crop rotation a thing? Okay, so this is dimple cups. I want this like always on dimple cups. This is not how crop rotation does. You can do it, but it has no benefit or drawback. Okay, so crop rotation is not a mechanic. This is pigtails. So there's no pigtails here, so I leave it fallow. Pigtails. Okay. And then this is just cave wheat. Cave wheat. Okay. So that's our farming. Then up here, I want to... Probably want to dig out a bit more of a room here. And then, like, there should be, like, more of a workshop area. Let's dig that out. Okay. I still see flies sometimes. I don't know how to get rid of them. How do you get rid of flies? That's... I've closed this up, so I guess people can't just walk in, right? I think... Our stray horse is starving. I saw I saw the chicken icon. Um, what do they eat? Because I have fifty food. How do I feed the horse? Remove refuse and corpse from the stockpile options. Uh, oh, grass has actually grown down here because there was a hole in the ceiling. 
Wow, interesting. You can turn the, the underground green if you let light through. Huh. Pasture them where there's grass. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Is that... Is there a pen pasture? Certain livestock need to graze on grass. Assign these animals to a pasture zone. No fencing is needed. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I can just set them to pasture like there. Does that mean the animals will now go out and eat? Is that all I have to do? Assign these animals... Assign these animals to a pasture zone. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. That means... I have to select animals. Is it okay if they're all there? Think that's correct? So now they should... Can they go through doors? <laughs> What, what have I missed? This is passable. Oh, you can lock the door. Forbidden. Okay, so the doors are passable. Unpause. Are they gonna go? Okay, they're going, they're going, okay. So things don't... Okay. I mean, it, it was sort of weird that all the animals were hanging around the meeting place anyway. Why do I have a pet worm? That's also kind of a weird one. Okay. Um, I don't know if these crops are... going. Is this what's in there now? Dimple cup spawn. So I think it is going. So I'm opening up this area. Some enemies can go through doors, is that what you're asking? Well, if we're attacked, I can at least set those doors to lock, right? <laughs> I don't know how attacking works in this game. Like, what's gonna come for us or whatever. I assume you could dig too deep? That's an assumption. Okay, so construction, workshops. So I want to have a still. Like there. Uh, amount needed one. If I make a workshop out of shale, what happens? Um, what other workshops do you think we need? Anything else in farming? Process plants and work with livestock here. Milk and shear animals makes cheese and spin thread. Maybe? They palm wood logs. Um... Workshops. What else? Maybe a jeweler? Do we need furnaces? Ashry, Boyer, Carpenter. Crafts! It mentioned crafts. We should get crafts. Let's do crafts. They palm wood logs. I need so much storage. Um, oh, but uh, someone did say under... Stockpile. View stockpile under custom. I should turn off refuse. Wait. Ammunition, amulets, animal traps. Why are those all under refuse? Armor stands, backpacks, bags. Corpses, definitely none, right? I don't want to store corpses down here. These are all refuse? Wait. 
There's corpses, and then there's refuse corpses. They can be refuse. So this is all ruined stuff. So for example, refuse drinks is drinks that have gone bad, correct? Whereas, I assume there's drinks somewhere here. Uh, like, f food drink is fine. Refuse drink is bad. Corpses are friendly, refuse corpses are baddies. Is that correct? So, corpses are fine. Refuse corpses are bad. Because, like, horns and hooves and stuff like that, they, they feel like things are good. But I guess I should just... None to all refuse. And I should have, like, a separate stockpile for that, right? So I should do that for the same... None of those. Yep. And this was a general stockpile as well. Refuse. None. I think that's correct. Okay, I've built these workshops. So under crafts... Rock. I guess we'll just make a large rock gem. How about I make a wood... Make wooden crafts. Is there rock crafts? Make rock crafts. Because these are things that we could sell, right? Wood. Large wooden gem. Okay, well, let's make some of those things. Stills being made. Farmer's workshop. So what does a farmer's workshop do? Milk animal. Okay. <laughs> uh, waiting for that construction. Okay. So all the animals are fine. Are you still starving? No. Low stamina, frail. Okay. Zero is old. The stray reindeer. Wait, that's a stray reindeer calf. Is that not mine? Stray drake. Clumsy. <laughs> the duck's clumsy. Okay, the dog is also clumsy. The cat. Healthy. No official positions. Grouchy when caught in the rain. Okay. So I think this is all going fine. I assume these crops are actually growing because those are there. Um... We can continue to just mine out when we see those ore veins. Here. And this stuff. All right. Okay. Where is everybody? You just hang out there? Is there anything else we can make here? Would an altar, animal trap, armor stand, barrel, bin, blocks, bookcase, bucket, buckler, menacing wooden spike? Sure, make two of those. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I should probably mark a couple more faraway trees for wood. Okay, should probably mark some of these for gathering. Why are there dead fish everywhere? That's kind of confusing. Sparse drop seed grass. So yeah, grass actually got through. There's one over here as well. Yeah, there. That might grass up as well. Okay. <sighs> If all you have are birds and male animals, no milk. <laughs> I I don't really know what animals we have. I, I assume it should be 
Are animals just labeled here? In stocks? No. Would they be under creatures? No. Okay. I, th I think... I think I've... Okay, that's being built. Yes, okay. No one's died yet, which is a good sign. This is now good to go. Requires empty food storage item. Extract from plants. I don't know what that means. Make mead, brew drink from plant, brew drink from fruit. Empty food storage item. That means barrels, right? So I should make wooden barrel. Make wooden barrel. Make wooden barrel. Make wooden barrel. Also, I just need way more storage. This this is insane. Um that's going to be storage. That's going to be storage. Okay. I think that's all right. Yes, good. Mining out a bit more there. Now, there's a lot of mining veins to go through here. So so far, I th I think I think I'm kind of getting the game. Right? So like if something suddenly starves and dies, I'll be like, "Oh yeah. That starved and died." Oh, smooth shale cuz I smoothed that tile there. That's shale pebbles. Oh, there's an alert. There's an alert. What is it? Something has collapsed on the surface. Silty clay. It's... Are you okay? I chopped down a tree. And some... Silt came down? Planter cancels... Make wood barrels need logs. Need logs. Oh, okay. So we need to get logs. Summer has arrived. Okay, that's fine. I've struck a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, so I think you didn't make fish barrel maple. Seed barrel. These so these are barrels filled with stuff. So I need to... The, the barrels didn't make, right? Make wood barrel. Let's make two more wood barrels. And then... We need to repaint this stockpile. Repaint. To include all of this. Bam. Accept. Okay. That's a much larger storage. <laughs> what is that? Cinnabar crown. Okay, that's good. So I think we just made... So these are empty barrels. Coconut palm barrel. Coconut palm barrel. This one has three lines on the side of the name. I don't know if that means it's better or worse. Horse's milk barrel. Oh, did we successfully milk a horse? Um... We do have one... One female horse. So I think we successfully milked the horse. That is something that can be drank, right? So now I can brew drink from fruit. Brew drink from plant. And I don't know what extract from plants is, but let's find out. So this means if I brew drinks, that uses a plant and a drink to make something safe to drink, right? I don't know if just they can just drink water out like that. 
Now, in terms of food, that's, uh, so what counts as food? Um, food. I can't search the stocks for food. Liquid. Horse's milk. Okay. There's meat. Prepared llama brain. We got four of them. So drinks is here. We've got... I don't know why they're separate. Five, four, five... Five, four, two, rum, wine. So we've got ale, beer, rum, wine. That's pretty good. So this cheese. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to get for eating. Coins, corpses, crowns. So I got the crown. Crutches, drinks, earrings, egg, figurines, fish. Brown bullhead. Okay. Because I got crops, I think, growing. Fishing. I do have a fisher. How do I do fishing? Um, maybe it's a zoning thing? Fishing. Okay. Maybe I just set this river here for fishing. And maybe that works. Except, yeah, okay. I think that works. All right, so once I sort out food, and I know that drink is working, um, then that's at least basic survival going, right? As far as I can tell. I check the question mark. Survival. Oh, planting. So, there's some food. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Mining orders, farm plots. So that I've been doing this. Uh-huh, farm plot. Uh, plump helmets are edible. And the default wagon comes with plump helmet spawn, which are their seeds. Uh, now you can obtain above ground seeds from trade or by eating gathered plants. Okay, just eat the plants and we, get the, we keep the seeds. Um, planters... Okay, maybe a water source is owned by uh, and a bucket are also required. Do I have a bucket? I think I do have a bucket. That's a bucket there, right? Okay, so this is tea wood bucket. So I have a bucket, so we should be able to collect water and do whatever. Right? And I don't have anything. Ooh, I ate some strawberries. So I can plant some strawberries. This can be a... Uh... Strawberries grow in winter? Okay. So eat some strawberries. That can be strawberries. Is this person fishing now? Uh, this is the fisher dwarf. Talented fisher dwarf. Raw mussels, four. Okay, we've got a source of food. We are now harvesting food. No one has died. And I assume... Have I made drink? Strawberry wine barrel. Ooh, I made some strawberry wine. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. This is not as confusing as I assumed Dwarf Fortress to be. Right? Like this this is this is going fine. Like a monster could show up and just kill me any second, I'm sure. Um, a volcano might erupt and cover us in lava. I don't know, maybe. I might not be able to survive the first winter, but that, that's not the point of this. This is a total newbie playing Dwarf Fortress for the very first time. And it's not that confusing. Like, I, I think I, I think I kind I, I think I kind of get it. The UI definitely has confusing problems. I, th I think... It it's, it's sort of hard to develop when you've been making the game for 20 years and you know how everything works. So for a brand new player, you don't quite know what part of the UI is going to be 
confusing and stuff like that. That, that is hard, you know? Um, also, uh, if I just... Can I just save the game here? Save and continue playing. Uh, see, like here, I have to assume I press enter. There's a cancel button, but there's no save button. Yeah, it's enter. That, 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 that sort of thing is weird with the UI. They put a cancel button in, but no save button. <laughs> okay, so we're saving the game. I want to try to switch to, to the ASCII art. To see what the original Dwarf Fortress looks like, right? Escape. Settings. Can I just... So... Return to game. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, okay. And there's no way to zoom in closer than this? How do, how do I... Can I not look at the symbols closer? So, this is my farming. These are the mines further down. And this is the surface, so I can see the river. Is that... my pasture? Like... No, those are people. Wait, no, this is, this is not the surface. This is the surface. Oh no. Oh, this is actually headache-inducing. So that is the duck. That is the dog. That's the horse. Okay, those are the stairs down. Those are the stairs... Up. That's the stairs down. These are stairs going both ways, so it's an X, right? Okay. Willow roots, brook water. Okay. That's damp, rough hewn. Okay. Ah. Oh. All right. So this, this, this is actually like this, especially. This, this is. It's just so hard to parse, right? Farm plot. Okay. Ah. Oh. Like I, I. Yeah, settings, go back to graphics, done, return to game, okay. And, I mean, and it's like playing at this zoom level, which makes it quite hard as well, right? I'm like four zoom levels in, or at least three zoom levels in. Yeah, this it, it's just much easier to understand, which makes it much easier for a new player to get into, right? Right? So that, maybe that's why it's, I'm actually, what is that? A giant rattlesnake is fi fighting. A th whole thing came over, uh, happened. The giant rattlesnake lost. The giant rattlesnake regains consciousness. The giant rattlesnake is no longer stunned. <gasps> A spattering of giant rattlesnake blood. Hunting dog is fighting. So our hunting dog has been fighting this giant rattlesnake. It's a three-year-old giant rattlesnake and it's injured. He's afraid after experiencing trauma. He didn't feel anything while in conflict. He was grouchy when caught in the rain. Did the dog die? I still have two dogs. I think the dog's fine. I think the dog won. Um, can I? Can I? Can I attack this snake? <laughs> what do I do with this giant snake? Like, is it just walking around, or is it just sat there? It's moving around. Um, like, can you control, uh, I mean, this is the labor menu. I don't think it's here, right? C 
creatures. Citizens. Pet livestock. Unavailable as pet. Uninterested in an owner. <laughs> okay. Domesticated. Others. Dead. Missing. So others. There's a giant anol as well. This is very far away. It's a giant lizard thing. But this giant snake is right here. Uh, would it be work orders? No, nobles and administrators. Okay, militia commands. So th we can have like social hierarchy here. There's no artifacts yet. There's no open cases. Oh, there can be crimes and stuff happening. Okay, that's cool. Places, 11 assigned, 9 present in the pen and pasture. Okay, fishing. Yep, okay, that's good. can set a sheriff in nobles okay so yeah so I s I'm thinking nobles okay here you can view your nobles as well as assign your administrators military leaders and other officials military commanders are assigned here once the first leader is assigned subsequent captain positions will appear these can also be assigned from the squad menu Certain important functions in your fortress can only be performed by assigned administrators, such as the manager and bookkeeper. Once they are assigned, you can create work orders, run a hospital, and count and appraise your hoard. Nobles and certain administrators require rooms, and some may also make demands. So I have this expedition leader, Solon Zonzales, who doesn't have anything they want. Members of the nobility have required rooms. So the main thing I want to ask is... I want to go kill the snake. Is there something in here that explains how to do that? Do I put traps? Maybe military? Yeah, let's look at military. You must appoint a militia commander from the nobles and ministers. Then from the squad menu, you can assign your first squad led by the commander. Okay, so from here, I can add a militia commander. No relevant skills from anyone. Um, let's take... the planter sure um then from the squad menu squad menu squad menu oh Squad sidebar. Oh, so the, the world screen we can see here. Okay. Center on fort. That's us. So there's just... There's definitely stuff north of us. Stuff over there as well. Okay, done with that. Squad menu. This is a squad menu. Here you can create squads, fill their positions, assign equipment, schedules, give specific orders. It's recommended that you prepare a squad and get them training as soon as you can. You have no idea what's lurking out there. Okay. Create a new squad with no uniform. The laborious stances. <laughs> okay. So I've made a, a squad. Let me go back to the military. Squad can be customized. Select the leader from the buttons at the top of the squad screen. Okay, so this is the leader. Okay, next. The most important buttons are the check mark to select the squad to give orders to. Okay. Uh, and the position button to add more soldiers. Position? Position button? Oh, assign position to. If I just put, like, everyone in this squad, like, all of them, back to squads. So, everyone is in this squad. 
Uh, orders can be found here. Assign a kill order. Okay. I think that's, that's what I need to know. So, assign a kill order on... Why is this... Uh... No target. How do I assign a target? How do I... <laughs> this UI. Like... Oh, wait, have I done it? Confirm. Okay, kill giant rattlesnake. Unpause. Kill it! <laughs> okay, so we can see what happened. Everyone was fighting. And a lot of stuff happened. The recruit releases the grip of the recruit's left lower arm on the giant rattlesnake's body. What? The recruit releases the grip of the recruit's left l lower arm. Okay. The recruit let go. Punches the giant rattlesnake in the head with his right hand, bruising the muscle. What, the head muscle? <laughs> what muscle? Which one? The muscle in the head. Okay, so what's this? Becomes expedition leader, becomes recruit, recruit, recruit. Okay. Okay, so main point is we killed the snake. Okay, so now, how do I disband the squad? Disband the squad. Okay. And under nobles, can I remo remove you from this position? Leave vacant. Okay, job's done. A pile of vomit. Giant rattlesnake's mangled corpse. Everyone, go back away. We killed the giant rattlesnake. Our first enemy. Vanquished. Let's get rid of that. Ah, first kill. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but... Your face has muscles. Well, I, I mean, it does, but... If I punch someone in the face and I hurt the muscle, which face muscle was hurt? <laughs> Surprised that my Ford is still alive with seven dwarfs. Well, it's it's like with the graphics, it's not that hard to understand. Like we've eaten some food, but we are fishing. We are gathering things like see there's berries and stuff here. I can just do this. And we get food, right? Um, I'm still a little... Ooh, see, we're growing food. Things are popping. We just harvested some food. We just harvested some dimple cups. There we go. And we harvested some quarry bushes. Okay, so I'm, I've... I've brewed some drink. I've milked a horse. See, I've made strawberry wine, so that's a drink. Uh, I assume, yeah, requires empty food storage items. So I need some more drink because that looks a bit low. So I just want to make some wooden barrels. Make a bunch of wooden barrels. Um, chop down maybe a couple trees to make sure we don't run out of wood. All right. I've sealed off my entrance. Right. We're going to make those empty barrels. So drink says about 20. Uh, so it says I have one empty barrel here. So why can't I... Oh, there we go. Um, brew from fruit. Brew drink from plant. Like, we'll brew some stuff. And I'll see if my drink goes up a bit. I assume... 
Wait, our population's 18. Our population just went up by a lot. People moved in. Some migrants have arrived. We had seven. We now have 18 people. They just showed up there. And who? The, the stone crafter Sarvesh Mr. Bun. Mr. Mubun. Is, who are you fighting? Wait, was this... A tendon in the skull has been torn. Whose tendon? Then he had a bath. This could be bliss. And there's a frog in the pool! <laughs> there's, a, there's a frog! Oh, it's a toad. Um, the Wait, was this from the rattlesnake we fought earlier? Yeah, okay, that's from earlier. I don't know what we do with a dead giant rattlesnake. So we've got 18 people. So that means we don't have nearly enough beds. Um, I have to like... I assume beds can just be stacked there, but then also we need to make... Uh, what am I looking at? Make wooden... Why can't I see bed? Oh, it's up there. Make bed. One, two... So we need... 11 beds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's probably a way to put in a number. Okay, that's 10. Fine. Start with that. Uh, which means we'll need more wood for all those beds. So let's go ahead and make sure we mark some woods to be chopped. Okay, um, are we making drink? Drink 50. Okay, we made drink, we made food. We're making beds for all the newcomers. I don't know if the horse's milk is drinkable. It's in a different category. What have we made? A dwarven wine, strawberry wine, and better strawberry wine, okay. I should probably... Requires unrotten fermentable leaf or fruit. Okay. So we can brew a drink from a plant. Okay. I think we have been making beds. So let's do furniture, bed. Use the closest material because it doesn't matter. And then we can do this. There we go. Okay. There's another five beds. I think I queued up 10 beds. I needed 11. So let's just make another bed. Like I assume they don't need walkways to each individual bed, right? We got a slug and a turkey. Where are these animals coming from? Did they come with the... With the... New people? Okay. Most of them, some, what, two of them are very happy. Wow, look at that. We've got 70 drink. Great. Good. Um, I think we did actually harvest quite a bit. With this, I probably want to preemptively harvest more stuff. I see lots of berries here. Let's make sure we get lots of berries. That should boost up our food supply. There's now more workers than... I can keep track of, so I guess they'll just do things. Furniture, bed. Okay, is that, that's 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, correct. Um, then I just need to make sure that is assigned to dormitory. Hold on. 
zone. Yeah, okay. Can I repaint this to that? That is now the dormitory. Okay. So that's enough beds for everyone. Yeah, 18 beds. Okay, I've filled up our food storage items. I assume the crops are still going. Food's going up because I think we're... There's plenty of wood just stored up there. Uh, I think those berries... Did we just harvest those berries like in one mass? Yeah, the berries <laughs> grabbed up. Okay, perfect. Um, we can... Milk animal. <laughs> sure. And then we can just craft more... We've got lots of woods. So we should just make wooden crafts, right? So that we can sell... Like an amulet and a wooden... Figurine. Make a wooden... Crown. I assume those are things we can sell. Okay, good. Uh, if I check my labor menu, we have two people, three people good for mining, two people good for wood cutting, and they auto add to the list of people who do things. That's great. Planters, stone cutters, engravers, haulers, orderlies, miners. Perfect. That's so convenient. Why is there so much blood here? A spattering of dog blood. Oh, things have happened. <laughs> okay. An animal has grown to become a stray llama. Doesn't look like a llama to me. Oh, there's a llama. Stray llama. Tame. Okay. You have become a carpenter. Very good. Uh, the Wolverine man is fighting with the dog. Who is the Wolverine man? So a dog died. There's the dog corpse there. A Wolverine man just showed up and killed my dog. Where is the Wolverine man? What? Cancels... Cancelled the gosling? What? I, I don't understand what was cancelled there. Who is the Wolverine man? Wolverine man is fighting. The Wolverine man became enraged. Where are you now? Um, wait, there's a list of creatures somewhere. Um, what was it? It wasn't creatures. Dead, missing. Others. Wolverine man. Why are there so many Wolverine... Why are there so many Wolverine men? There's so many of them. Uh... Creatures. Are these red for some reason, or is that just their color? Stray gosling. Okay, it's just their color. Okay, that's fine. Um, so creatures. Others. Wombat's fine. There's three wolverine men and the wolverine woman. High willpower. Value sacrifice. Musical. Good focus. They're all over the place. Oh, red are the children. How do I stop the wolverine men from showing up and just killing things? Um, I should build walls. Yes, I should build walls. Uh, construction wall. Um, use whatever materials. So I assume I can't... Can I build over the river? 
I don't know. But let's say I do this. And then wall up to there. And then I wall up to here. And then I wall up to there. Okay. And then can I just place a door in... No, no. Uh, doors hatches. Can I just place a door in a wall like that? No, I must remove construction first. Okay, so first I go to remove that construction. Build a protective wall. They can walk across the river. Okay, I'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> um, how do I? There's a way to prioritize tasks. Um, how do I? There is a prioritized task somewhere here. Uh, Dolping, welting, set high, low traffic areas. Okay, the wall is going to be a mishmash of whatever materials there is. <laughs> But I'm going to enclose my pasture. Also, this pasture needs to be way bigger. Pasture. Redraw pasture. Shouldn't be like... You know. I'll just expand it. Nah, give you more room to, to pasteurize. Okay, we got rid of that. And then I just want to go to construction, construct, uh, no, doors, hatches, door, build. I need to build a door first, right? You, add new task, make wooden make wooden door. Okay. Make a wooden door. We'll get a door there. Um, Let's find out if we can build walls across rivers. Construction. Wall. This seems like a bad idea. But if I understand... ...this depth... ...the wall is not blocking the water. What is all this stuff? Bitter oranges? Is that harvestable? No. Oh well. Um, let me continue construction. Construction wall. So I just need to build up to there. And then I'm just going to cut right across here. Not enough building materials. So I need to go and... There's Wolverine people just everywhere um i can chop the trees across the river get that going okay the wolverine people are just like walking around here um have i finished that door yet door door okay building a door or oh, placing the door, rather. This wall is a bit of an abomination. Okay, I'm gonna chop down these trees. And that allows us to build construction wall. Like a cross, like this. Still not enough? What happened here? Who died now? Stray hunting dog was found dead. There. Oh. We didn't have... We don't have food for carnivores, do we? <laughs> what did dogs eat in this game? I mean, we, we were fishing. Could the dogs not eat the fish? Our base is covered in blood. And what happened to you? Why are you covered in blood? 
A smear of dog's blood. A smear of Wolverine man's blood. Who fought here? A Wolverine man and a dog fought there. Is this person bringing back a horse? Oh, some people just go out and get animals. Okay, uh, let's continue our construction. Wall. Just one, two. Let's start with that. And that. And I'll leave a gap first to make sure there is still access. Okay. Are we going? Wait, we're going into autumn. All right. I don't know when the trader arrives. Okay, build this wall, please. There we go. Just use the nearest materials, which is all that wood. This should at least keep the Wolverine people out of my base. No, uh, no. Construction. Wall. Here. Seal that off. Should probably have a door up there, but whatever. They can enter and exit through there. <laughs> okay. Now we have a fortune. Wait, no, there's still that gap. Resume construction. Okay. Now we have a fortress. We actually have a wall going around our base. <laughs> that looks adequate. Yes. Okay. So it's autumn. Where is the trader? And it said during winter we're actually like trapped. So I see people going out and getting animals and bringing them back. Do they just keep doing that? Like two dogs have died and we still have a dog. And there's our wooden crown. So we've crafted some stuff that we can sell. Um, are there other things we can do? Like, if I just put sheer animal, sheer the stray llama, okay. Can I milk animal? I don't know if there's any animal to milk. There's some horses. Uh, we don't need to craft any of that. Can I make a new fruit drink? Make a new plant drink? Okay. This should stop random wolverine men deaths from happening, right? Do I have a trading depot? I didn't build a trading depot. I forgot it said I had to build that. Uh, okay. Let's try and build it. Was it workshops? No, it's that trade depot. Do I put it on the surface? I assume the trader will come from the surface, so I guess I'll put it up here. Okay, we'll build that trade depot. I don't know if it's too late. It's still early autumn. When does... Um... Construction nearly done. I have to put it outside my walls. Damn, okay. Uh... Remove this building. I don't know if we get the resources back, but whatever. Uh, trade Depot. Right outside our main door then. Like right in there. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> they come with carts. Okay. And I guess the carts can't get through the tiny doors. Oh, sometimes animals just leave the pasture area because they're afraid or they're hungry or whatever. Okay. 
This dog seriously injured. Is it because you're clumsy or because... Something attacked you. Okay, so he built this trade depot. No trader needed a depot. You do not have a broker. What? I need a broker. Hold on. Let's bring up the question mark. This was other food sources. All right, I never built the fishery. Um, can I... Was it a workshop? Farming, something like a siege, screw press, metalsmith, mechanic, management. No? What was the... Where's the fishery? It's said there just now. Um, workshops under farming. Okay. Um, workshops, farming, fishery. Processes raw fish into edible food. Raw fish will not be eaten. Okay, let's put that up there then. Okay. Um, and then I need to go to, I assume, nobles? Broker, skilled appraiser, novice judge of intent, adequate negotiator, adequate persuader, novice liar. I'll give you because Solon already has a role. So we have a broker. So we have a broker. Broker can access depot. Okay, good. So we've built the fishery, add new task, extract from raw fish, prepare a raw fish. Let's just, you just always want to prepare a raw fish, right? And then go catch live fish, I guess. Ah, uh, there we go. Those mussels we've been collecting count as these raw fish. We gotta prepare them. Okay, that should give us more food to work with. All that fish I've been catching has been inedible. <laughs> okay, that makes sense though, I understand. Toad remains. Lizard remains. There's just a whole bunch of dead animals here. Lungfish remains. Okay. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from distinct manner is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious crafts dwarves. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might be might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. Okay. So they're gonna show up. Um... Move goods to from depot. Uh... Sort by distance, toggle, weather, okay. Sort by value. So I want to check this so i'm gonna bring these things to the trade depot chains cloth crowns i made these crowns uh figurines i made one of those cinnabar gem oh what these rough Clara opals are worth a hundred. All right, let's bring a few of those up. Rough rose quartzes. Yeah, I, I didn't get the jeweler in to start doing those things. Scepters? Like, are there any uses for these things besides selling? I assume there are, but oh, these platinum nuggets are worth a hundred as well. Thread, tools, trap components, weapons. Okay, so I've, I've set some things to bring over. 
I don't know. Where are you? They arrived. But where are they now? Is that you? Yes, outpost liaison. I assume this is the traitor? So, there's a lot of stuff now here. This item is being traded. Okay, so these are now set to trade. How do I know how much... Ooh, diplomacy! The expedition leader Solon Gonzalez meets with the outpost liaison Feb Amalerith. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Okay. The world is the same as ever. Okay. Make requests for next year's caravan. They'll charge more for these items. I don't know what I need. I don't think I need to request anything specific like Wolverine leather. I think it's at this point I am not desiring anything, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Right, so I'm not gonna request anything. It's the first trade. Done. Remember, trade agreements strengthen bonds. Please consider an import agreement next year. Oh, so the more you do it, the better it gets, I guess. Okay. Let's discuss what we are willing to offer for your crafts, crafts dwarf ship. A need for shields bucklers is expected. And if you're able to provide some, the caravan will offer 192%. This export agreement only applies to trades next year not with any merchants currently present. Okay, so we would want to make shields and bucklers for next year. Okay. All right, that's good. I don't know if anything is... It says no trader at depot. Will traders be arriving? Is the dog fighting again? Another wolverine man? It's outside of our walls. Come on. Oh, but it was a stray dog, I think, so. Oh, I see... Horses? So it says these items are being traded. So I don't have to do anything to do the trade? Call my broker. It says broker requested at depot. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was... I didn't realize these were buttons. <laughs> broker requested at depot. Okay, so is this stuff that they're selling? So I need the broker here. Okay. Trade at Depot. The broker is here. So now I can trade. Uh, this is my stuff. This is their stuff. So I have 60 food, 60 drink. So let, let's just try buy something. Let's buy some rum. And bags, cloth, leather, meat, fish, plants, Spinach leaves, berries and peppers, cheeses. Can we just eat cheese as is? I assume we can, right? 
Dwarven cheese? Oh, you can actually do Dwarven cheese. <laughs> let's do... Let's grab some llama cheese. I haven't done any, like, um, butchering yet. I could... I guess I can just buy fish, right? Right, just to boost up food. Alright, so let's say I want to buy those things. I now so that's value 130. So if I just sell like one of these opal pearls and like the wood figurine. Offer as gift. Allowed wait. So I assume this would not be accepted because the trader needs a profit. But we can seize their stuff. So let's try trade. Please understand the journey must be profitable. Perhaps you'd consider tossing in a little extra. The following fortress goods were added for the counter offer. Oh. Okay. So the main valuable things were the rough Claro opals. So I guess I could now negotiate a bit less. Like, for example, let's say I take off the Cinnabar crown. How about that? Trade. No, they won't take it. Okay. Fine. I guess we can't haggle so much. Oh, that made the deal worse. <laughs> I tried to haggle and made the deal worse. <laughs> now they want even more. Fine, fine. You know, I probably shouldn't be haggling. This is mostly crap I've crafted anyway. Like, the only thing of value that I've thrown in here is the rough Clara Opals. Fine. We'll accept this counter offer. You get to profit a lot. Hopefully that makes you like us. Accept counter offer. Thank you for your business. Okay. Close. We we did a trade. We bought some food. We bought some drink. Look at that. This prepare raw fish should be forever. Um Yeah. So we're constantly making more food there. Good. I don't know if the crops have been going. Brew, drink from plant. So we should just always be brewing drinks from plant and brewing drinks from fruit, right? That just keeps the, the drinks up. Yeah, and then I think we should finally build that jeweler. Can... The jeweler has to be here. I just take up the meeting space. I assume the jeweler has to be down, like, underground. Okay. We've done a trade. Not that hard to understand. I, I think I got it. Time to dig deep. There's like a hundred and... Like almost 200 levels down. It'll take us forever. So we can do all sorts of things. We can cut gems. I guess we should just cut a bunch of gems. We can cut raw glass into gems. So we can make glass gems. Encrust ammo with cut gems? What, like a ruby in a arrow? <laughs> Is that is, is that something that why is there grass growing there? There shouldn't be grass growing there. That might have been a hole at some point. Oh well. Okay. Merchants have arrived. Yeah, dog was fighting something. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. 
Food, drink, seeds looks good. Oh, fish is actually a separate thing. Fish, plant, other. Okay. I've survived until autumn. No one has died. Our population has increased. We've done the trade. I assume the trader just stays there through the whole season, right? This is the same trader. Yeah. The trader stays there for the season. We've walled off to keep uh, at least wandering enemies away. Things are covered in blood, but I think that's to be expected. There are a lot of Wolverine people around. They, they probably are still around, aren't they? Uh, others. There's a whole bunch of giant parakeets. But no, the, the Wolverine people have left. There's now just giant parakeets everywhere. Show me a giant parakeet. What? Oh, it's up here in elevation. Oh, look at that. They actually fly at different heights. <laughs> but they're flying way up there. They're like very much far away. Okay. And we're into mid-autumn. I think I get the game. I think I get the game. Like, sure, there's so much I don't know, but that's not the point of today. You know, knowledge is one thing, but just sort of getting the very fundamental what is this game. I, I think I think I got it. Right? Like, of course something could just show up and kill us. <laughs> like the Wolverine people did. Um, but with this wall, it should at least keep out basic enemies. I've got a source of food and drink. That's good. I don't know if I have enough to survive the winter, but sure, whatever. Our population's 25! <laughs> so as the population goes up, uh, I assume it's like many other colony survival games where it just becomes harder and harder to keep people fed and everything. But yeah, like, I think if I lose, I will understand why. Giant animals everywhere is a pretty hard start. You're doing pretty well. Well, they, they seem to be more interested in killing the animals than the dwarves. And we did kill that giant snake, which, uh, oh, it's just bones now. <laughs> Giant rattlesnake mangled skeleton. Yeah, we, we, we formed a squad and killed a giant snake. That was good. I don't know how to harvest all of these dead animals. I feel like we should be eating them. You know, the toads, the lungfish. They're just sort of everywhere. You got obliterated by giant sparrows one time, didn't stand a chance. Well, we do have a roof on the staircase area. So if anything, we can, like, run down. Also, I think sealing off the base did get rid of all those flies. I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah. Rough Clara Opals. I assume we have been cutting some gems. Radiant cut rose quartzes. Ooh, round brilliant cut rose quartzes. I wonder what those are worth. Uh, not you, this. Um... They would be under cut gems. Oh, they're not worth that. Oh, these cut are worth 400. Wow, okay. That is way better. So you you can trade quite a lot even on the first year. All oh, right, the butcher's workshop. Workshop. There's farming, butcher. And then let's just have a butcher's workshop out there. Because there's just dead things everywhere. Like, we really should be eating <laughs> those things. Okay, add new task. Catch live animal extract. Butcher an animal. Can we just do that forever? Butcher an animal doesn't mean kill a live animal, right? It means butcher a dead animal. I don't want the butcher going over and, like, butchering these cats and stuff. <laughs> also, I have to say, the music in this game is really good. 
Oh, why won't it stay? Why can't I butcher an animal? Do we not have the tools to butcher or something? Do I have to assign a butcher? I don't see it on the labor. Add new work detail. Oh, I have to add a, a new thing here. Done. And then I have to uh, like let people do butchery like that. Then maybe I can butcher an animal. No, the task won't stay. Units page. I, do I don't understand what you mean by a units page. There's no units page. U for units. Citizens. Uh, it's a citizens page. Um, do you have to assign a job? Like, um, before this, all, all tasks, pets, livestock. Oh, toggle whether this creature will be slaughtered at the butcher's shop. Okay, so right now I'm not looking to slaughter. I'm looking to like, see this dead fish right here? How do we get that? Or how about this lizard? Can we eat this lizard? This is a lizard's remain. Like, can we butcher this lizard? Or these toads? Or like the, the giant rattlesnake we killed? Or the dogs that died, right? Like, I, d I don't want to like, slaughter a live animal. They're already dead. <laughs> right? There's so many dead things around. They'll auto butcher anything useful. So I don't have to set a task. You can set dwarves to gather remains from outside. Oh, is this autumn leaves coming down? Oh, nice. Um, might need a corpse pile. Oh. Uh, I see. So I would need to set a stockpile like here. Like that. Except and then custom none to all except for all corpses like that i don't know that that or refuse oh you can try refuse as well let's do custom refuse corpses all of those there we go <laughs> maybe that's butcherable maybe that's not but sure. I think I saw... Is it? Okay, anyway. I think I get it. Like, there's specific mechanics that I still get confused about like that. Like, oh, how do I exactly do that? I mean, I could probably find out by just going into this menu and finding. There's probably something in there. See, refuse and dumping. I I just have to read this. I, when there's something specific I don't understand, I can check that. Or just look up a YouTube video. I'm sure there's videos on everything to do with Dwarf Fortress. Um, but fundamentally, I think I get the game. It's it's not that complicated to, to pick up with the graphics. In the ASCII art, it's very difficult to pick up because it's just headache-inducing. I just don't even know what's going on. Right? Yes catch a live fish forever yeah right so like th there's some ui issues but you know like this this is perfectly understandable right safio t thank you so much also earlier j matcha thank you so much right but this is pretty it's it, it's pretty easy to understand 
Like, I know why things are happening. Like, I know why the dogs died. The Wolverine men killed them. Um, I know a dog, one of my dogs and the giant rattlesnake fought. And the dog won, but didn't kill the snake, so he went over and killed it. Dwarves will eat raw vermin corpses when they are very hungry, otherwise not. Oh, okay. Are these lungfish vermin? I don't know what the classification... Because they're everywhere as well. They're just, like, walking around. They're like landfish. <laughs> but I guess the, the vermin corpses around will, will stay as... Uh... Oh, the trader's leaving. Okay. So towards mid-autumn, the traders leave. Seems like in autumn there's nothing specific we should be gathering. We can gather that. Gather whatever's here. Before winter hits, you know? Might be able to grab some berries. If you catch vermin, weird dwarves can eat them out of a cage. <laughs> yeah that that's the sort of thing that makes like this game so interesting it's the stories that you tell you know like even for the first time playing like very very short experience i already have i built up a base and wolfman showed up and started killing my dogs and i managed to hunt down and kill a giant snake right and that's just in the first year of like my first hour or two of playing but yeah i, I think i i think i kind of get it right i think i think i get it that has been my first ever experience with dwarf fortress it's not as scary as as it seems to be it's not as daunting and complicated. The level of knowledge of what's available, like how deep you can go, that is very extensive. Very extensive. So, so much stuff is being simulated everywhere. Like a combat sequence just happens in a matter of seconds and it's like... 30 different actions happened, right? The game runs very, very fast. But in terms of just, like, getting into the game and, like, understanding, oh, this is why these things are happening, that's pretty straightforward. It's not confusing. The only things that I ever got stuck on was either UI confusion or a specific mechanic on how do I do this specific task and it just means I, I have to read more to figure out how to do that specific task. But it's not that I'm not understanding the logic of the game. Like, I understand, oh, this is why this is not happening. This is why this is happening. So yeah, total newbie, completely blind, not understanding anything about Dwarf Fortress besides other games I've played inspired by Dwarf Fortress. And yeah, it's fine. I get it. I can dig down, I can mine stuff, I can cut the stuff I mine into gems, I can sell the gems to traders to buy stuff, I can make food, I can make drink, I can plant crops, I can fish fish, I can prep fish into food, I can gather plants, I can chop trees, I can build buildings. Cool! That's Draw Fortress! I hope you enjoyed it! <laughs>